As data becomes more available from an increasing number of data sources, many organizations are struggling to keep pace. The demands of combining data together from siloed systems and processing it to reveal meaningful business intelligence can require a great deal of investment in both systems and skills. The consequences of not keeping pace can mean missed opportunities or slow feedback on processes, so that time is spent reactively rather than in anticipating and preventing problems. Minitab Connect is the solution. Wherever your data is located, be it on cloud systems, legacy databases, or operator manual entry, Minitab Connect can automate the combining and processing of that data. The real-time dashboards are custom-built to deliver the right information to the right people at the right time. And if you need a deeper dive, you can export the data to Minitab statistical software with a single click. So let's take a quick look around the Connect system. Here we have a data set within Connect that has a date, a shift, a width and a length, and a part number column. Now, I have imported that data into a, a table called process data. What I would like to do as a next step, though, is to set up a connection so that every hour the data is being refreshed and we know that we have the, the latest data inside of Minitab Connect. So I'm going to the flow tool here. And you can see that under my inputs, I have my process data connection that will pull in the latest data. So as my data process flow, let's schedule an hourly event that will import that process data. And I can also run some data processing steps on that automatically, such as to deduplicate the data or other things that are similar. Now, as well as setting up this hourly refresh of my data, I also would like to set up a weekly export of the data. So as a second flow, I'm going to choose to schedule. This time we will schedule weekly. And what I would like to happen here is an export of the production volume. So every week, this will send an email with a CSV attachment with my, my production volumes included. Okay, so we have our process data refreshing. As a next step, I want to import the specifications into Connect. So you can see here that just as an Excel spreadsheet, I have my specs and I can import these simply with a drag and drop. We will define a new table, the location for that table and simply import. So now you can see that I have, as well as the process data, the specifications. And as a third step, let's add a new table here. And this table will be a mashup. So we will combine together the process data as our primary table, the specification data as the linked table. And I'm simply telling Connect that it is the part number that we are using to associate these two tables. I can give a name and hit save. So there we have it. You can see now then that I have a third table, which is called combined data. And this table is including all of my production data as well as the associated specifications. Now that we have our data processes in place, let's turn our focus to the visualizations. I'm gonna to go to the visualize tool and select the chart that I would like. So let's go here for a pie chart. I can choose the, the metric and the dimensions that I want to represent, and we can get a preview as to what this output will look like. Now, as well as the pie chart, I would also like to create an SPC chart here. So I'm going to the SPC module. Let's look at an X bar and R control chart. I'm going to track the width and I'm going to subgroup the width based on the date that the measurements were collected. So as I run this for a preview, we can see that this chart is looking pretty much how I would like it to look. So in that case, I'm going to save the chart. So let's call this X bar R chart of width. And there we go. 
Now, as well as this chart, I would also like to set up some alerts so that if the process is going out of control, we can receive maybe an email or a text message that is notifying key stakeholders of what has happened and linking to uh, an, a, a graph so that they can, they can see the control chart itself. So these are easy to set up. I'm just moving over to the alarm section. I'll choose the X bar R chart of width and let's add an alarm. So I'm giving the alarm a name. We can define the type of notification that we would like. So I'm going to choose email. I can enter the addresses of people who should receive the email. And once I'm happy, I can click save. Okay, so now we have the SPC charts and also some associated alerts. The final thing that I would like to draw your attention to before we move over and look at generating a dashboard is the audits tool within Minitab Connect. But every step that is taken by a Connect user is automatically and fully audited by the system. So we can see exactly what is being done, by whom, we also have full user privileges, so we can define exactly who is able to, to see and to edit um, each element of the Connect system. So, as a final step in this demonstration, I'm going to move over to a dashboard that I have partially prepared. So you can see here that I've already added a few visualizations to the right-hand side of my dashboard. What I would like to do then is to include on the left-hand side, the SPC charts that I recently saved. So I'm choosing the X bar R chart of width. I can add that in and resize so that it's um, fitting properly. And there we go. Now, as well as the SPC charts, there's many other things that I can include here on a dashboard. So for example, it might be that we want to include a view of our raw data so that we are able to see a snapshot of the production data, which will be of course updated as the data is refreshing. And I can also, within Connect, define user entry forms. So this will allow, for example, an operator on a factory floor to directly enter measurements into the Connect system. So I hope that this demonstration has been useful. For more information on Connect, please contact the Minitab team. Thank you.